now i want to take one more example where we will discuss how to calculate domain and range together the question is find the domain and range of the following real functions the first one is fx equals to minus of mod x and the second one is fx equals to root of 9 minus x square simply fx is equals to minus of mod x if first part i discuss with you first there is no denominator that is we can rule out that possibility that denominator should not be zero and second there is no square root sign if these two things are not it means that we have to take the domain of the problem as any real value as you know you can take any value of x you will find a fixed answer a particular answer of this so the domain is r any real value now we are coming for the how to find the range in order to calculate the range we first write fx as y y is equals to minus of mod x y is equals to minus of mod x if we transfer this negative here we will get minus y is equals to mod x if we are taking this value as minus it means that we may take any value of x the value of y will be always always negative it means that the range of this question will be from minus infinity to zero the range will be from minus infinity to zero now a problem is that how to calculate the domain and range of the second part to calculate the domain and range of the second part the same method will be taken that is first of all fx is given as root of 9 minus x square here at all this value should not be less than 0 this value should be either 0 or more than 0 because there will be no real value if 9 minus x square is less than 0 so to calculate the domain what we should do we should take that 9 minus x square must be greater than or equal to 0 we can say minus x square is greater than equal to minus 9 we should take care that as plus 9 is transferred from lhs to rhs become negative but if this negative and this negative are cancelling then x square is less than equal to 9 this inequality will reverse now if we take the square root both sides we will obtain plus minus x is less than 3 that means plus x is less than equal to 3 minus x is less than equal to 3 when this minus transferred here we get x is greater than equal to minus 3 ultimately if i join these two results together we can say the domain of this problem is minus 3 is less than equal to x is less than equal to plus 3 this is the domain to find the range we have to take fx as y is equals to root of 9 minus x square on squaring both sides we get y square is equals to 9 minus x square minus x square when transferred this become x square is equals to 9 minus y square or you can say x equals to root of 9 minus y square the value of x comes as root of 9 minus y square this value is in the root so this cannot be this cannot be less than 0 at all so set of possible values is what here it is 0 2 3 that is 0 comma 3 so the range of the question is possible values of y is from 0 to 3 so ultimately what we can say we can say that finding the domain and range is very simple method 
but provided we should take care when we are calculating the domain we are related to the possible values of x and when we are finding the range we are related to all possible values of y.